Let's move on to our second topic. Our today, Harry's gray suit. Harry and Meghan touch down in Atlanta. After Caribbean vacation, airport runway, pap shots by back grade. Oh my God, let's dial a pap. Fast, quick dial. Uh, the paps to uh, uh, Megan absolutely looks like Wallace in these pictures. And Harry, well, Harry looks like Harry. I, I, I cannot complain, but this is why I always mention it. The Panama hats. Megan is having her Panama hat on her head. And my other question is, does Megan have one single Panama hat or has uh, like a complete room at Montecito full of Panama hats? That That's a, that's the kind of questions that I ponder when I'm falling asleep and all of a sudden my brain says, do you think Megan has one Panama hat or has a lot of them back in Montecito? And I open my eyes and then say, oh my God, I cannot sleep right now. Because of the Panama hat conundrum. That that is something that 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 is this is the kind of things that keep me up at night. I have to confess. I have to tell you, this is the kind of things that keep me up at night. Besides, layer of the manor. Hey Maxi, you got a little something on the side of your mouth. I I I did not understand the joke at first sight because I'm I'm too naive. I I'm 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 so innocent, but I'm then I saw. Cream of the island. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What what how can I pull this? This is the kind of things that when I see cream of the islands, that, that, that's when I understand or remember that there are these differences between American and British English. And you know, uh, cream of the islands is something that that opens up the imagination. And someone said that that is very appropriate for a uh, for coming from a yacht club and so many things that uh, I, I'm trying to say say here without saying that, but, you know, uh, jumping uh, better. But let's move on, shall we? Uh, UK Brit, how long were they away from their children? Good question. At this point, the nanny has more of a relationship with them than their own parents. Uh, what did Harry say in his book? I grew up with absentee parents. I don't wish that on any child unless it's his own, of course. And I want to mention this. This is something that I tweeted. It's not that a couple can't keep their kids private and never show them. That's okay. That's perfectly understandable. Many couples are like that. Is that you see said couple traveling all over the world without them. And without extended family at home to look after the kids. Not that I care, but still. And maybe you can mention uh, Doria. And I, I would still be concerned. If you know what I mean? I will still be, be concerned. The office of HRH, Riley Dog, not to mention. These children are in the line of succession to the British throne with royal titles. The people of the UK are entitled to proof of their legitimacy, which has never been provided to the people. You know, those, um, the, the birth certificates, right? Uh, there's so many questions about those birth certificates. Now, those are the kind of questions that my attorney says, please, Jesus, keep talking about the Panama hat for once. But at some point, uh, we know that we, the, the, the trough will be unveiled. Don't want to provide the proof. Get out of the line. It's. Maybe it's that simple, maybe it's not that simple, but maybe we should ask their uh, Lily's godfather, by the way, who has his main headquarters in Atlanta, where they were landing. Why they were traveling to Atlanta is a big question. Tyler Perry is hard at work there. And it's uh, this is like the proof that he is uh, he has his own empire. And he's building, you know that when you stay through the credits of most movies, you see that a lot of those movies were filmed or have any have to, uh, something to do with Atlanta, right? In, in Hollywood, it's very common. It's because Atlanta has these uh, benefits that are very, it's very easy to produce uh, films there. So Tyler Perry has his uh, headquarters in there. Maybe it's a coincidence. And it's interesting as well that Right there, we, this is fresh. Four hours ago, this is today, four hours ago, the prolific filmmaker's rags to riches story is unraveled in first Maxine's Baby, the Tyler Perry Stories trailer. So 
Uh, Tyler Perry seems to have the real deal of a rags to riches story. It's interesting. In fact, we saw this. Billionaire, billionaire with a B, Tyler Perry takes the car he once lived out of when he was homeless for a spin. Just to, uh, in case you uh, say that this is fake news, it's not the same car, but it's the same car model. He made sure to buy the same car model uh, to just to remember the time when he was homeless and he slept in the car to remember those those roots, right? Maybe you will think that this is PR, but I say that sometimes you have to stay grounded, have to stay focused. And by the way, I have a couple of things to say about Tyler Perry. And maybe that's why Megan needs Tyler Perry on her corner at all costs. Remember that uh, Tyler Perry was really hardworking. I, I was checking his Wikipedia page and I haven't really seen uh, someone so prolific in, in Hollywood. By, by the way, he made this uh, kind of, um, of, um, uh, uh, of this, this cooperation, this collab with this partnership with Oprah back in 2012. Very lucrative partnership. Why did Oprah have this partnership with Tyler Perry? I'm going to say that he reminds me of Adam Sandler. Uh, he reminds me of Adam Sandler in one in many ways in which I, I admire Adam Sandler much more than Tyler Perry in our cases, but they know what do people find entertaining. That's undeniable. They know how to use the formula for people who want to be entertained. This is important for Megan. You will see in, in, a, in a minute. They know how to produce the thing. They know how to move the, move the money to produce this kind of things. And they know how the uh, movie making business works. So they have all this and, and they are, yes, they very engaging in their, char their characters that they portray. And well, the difference is that Tyler Perry is a billionaire, one billion dollars net worth, and Adam Sandler is around four hundred million, only four hundred million. The difference is that a uh, Tyler Perry is is the whole is the whole package. The guy knows how to uh, direct, to write in not only comedy but drama, and knows business. So yes, the 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 uh, the man has earned his his money. I have to tell you, the man has earned his money and I can imagine that Megan cannot let that pass. That's that's why it was so easy for him to help Megan in a time of need. And I don't, uh, and being the Lily's godfather, you know that maybe that's the reason why he is Lily's godfather. That, that will be the reason why. That will be the reason why. And his mom, for those that had asked, this is the last time that I could find Tyler Perry's private jet was photographed regarding the hard calls. These were taken at Montecito Airport when he went there to visit Harry and Meghan. I don't believe the jet they just flew into Atlanta is Tyler's. But, well, we have talked about one secret billionaire around who is willing to make some kind of a pitch for Megan, as soon as the WME, the PR company that is uh, uh, carrying Megan's brand, fails up until next spring, maybe it would be Tyler Perry. But isn't he Megan's friend? Or maybe that is still business. You know how his business. Uh, the business is business. Maybe if, if Tyler is such a businessman, he knows he knows how to do business. Royal expert. Expert Princess Consuela Banana. Why is our tax dollars spent on these idiots? Record inflation, high cost of foods, and now this? Yeah, you see, U.S. Customs and Border Protection going directly to Harry and Meghan to protect them. But well, yes, we have this insights about why Meghan could be arriving at Atlanta. At the same time, you know that things are happening in the uh, the good side, good side of things to Tyler Perry, and you cannot help but I have to put this. <laughs> you cannot help but think that there are interests at play in here because that's how that, that that's how Megan works in so many ways. Because why otherwise? She 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 was in New York, then she jumped by a private jet to an island in the Caribbean to spend how many days? I don't know how many days. 
then he jumps to Atlanta. I mean, wasn't being a mother the best job in the world? I, I'm not criticizing anybody. I really don't care. But when it 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 comes to children, it's sad. I have to tell you, it, it's uh, when it comes to children, is it's sad. A story that I forgot. If you don't like me saying Lily or Lilybeth, remind me if I, I think it, it's it's uh, Lilybeth is the right way to call call her right because Lily was the was the nickname of her late majesty, right? Please correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong in uh, the live uh, in the live comments and I keep an eye on that to keep learning. But let's talk about 